Yeovil's journey has been a steep, successful rise. From park pitches and shared venues buried deep in the English football pyramid, they are now at Hewish Park, something which has been fundamental to building the club's identity. It was mission accomplished with a 2-0 victory at Barnet last weekend. And in echo to the club's motto, this has been achieved through unity. Sherburne was right for us when we started in WSL2, but we knew that if we were going to progress, we had to play in a better stadium. And also we wanted to play in the stadium that is our name. It's well publicised that we're probably one of the lowest budgets in WSL2, but what we lose in terms of money, we make up in terms of heart, togetherness, and achieve by unity is our motto, and we've really done that this year. We dream about today's like today, and this is what we're going to realise today. We're going to realise our dreams, and we're going to you know, bring that trophy to Hewish Park. We respect our fans as much as we respect one another, and we do play for our fans. We owe them a victory today. We owe them a chance to see us lift that trophy because they, they will be lifting it with us. That's, we're just a together family um, based in a little, little old Yeovil. <laughs> it promised to be a dramatic final day. If Yeovil won, Bristol knew they'd have to match their result with a six-goal swing. Bristol had to apply pressure on Yeovil as quickly as possible. Claire Emsley fired them ahead after 12 minutes. At Hewish Park, Yeovil responded as Lucy Quinn opened the scoring against Sheffield. Willie Kirk's team kept up their urgency for goals. Jody Brett's cross forced Maddie Lee into an own goal, before the same source gave Emsley her second. And by half-time, it was 4-0 thanks to Millie Farrow. Pressure had been firmly applied. But Yeovil produced the stuff of champions. Kayleigh Green set up Annie Heatherstone to settle any nerves before Nicola Cousins put the issue beyond doubt. Back at the North Court, Farrow added a fifth for Bristol, but they knew the title had gone. Yeovil's rise now has a silver lining. We all do this part-time, we're not here to, for the money, it's true determination, true character, it's all about a family and that's what we are, we've come a long way and we deserve it. To bring 1,400 fans into our club is a remarkable achievement, so everyone's talking about promotion and champions, that is just as good, that is actually more worthwhile than a trophy.